Uh, the mushrooms have been found recorded in Canberra, um, down in, through into Melbourne, and there's been one or two records across into Adelaide. So generally in the southern half of the, of the country. Right, so, so not any further north than no, that? No, there's been no records. And the, the thing is, there, there have been deaths over the years from these as well. This isn't something that's, uh, that, uh, that's only happened just now. No, no, this is, a, this is a mushroom that's been known for a long time to be particularly toxic. It's probably the most toxic uh, mushroom that we have in the country, and people have died over the last mm. few years. And, uh, and as the name death cap implies, yep. it's, it has a long record uh, of, of killing people. Yeah, I must point out at this stage, we ha it hasn't been said whether they this was actually bought from a shop or, or these people went out and picked them um, from, from the, the countryside. Uh, but tell us what, what happened if you do eat one of these mushrooms. Well, well first of all, what, what do they look like in case people want to avoid them? Well, they're a pretty typical looking mushroom. They are green, green to yellow in colour. Um, can start off slimy and then, then dry off colour, so they have a, a normal cap that you would see on a, on a mushroom, and they're about up to 15 centimetres across uh, in, in circumference of the cap. And they generally grow underneath walnut trees. They have a uh, not walnut, oak trees. They have a, a strong association with oak trees. Right. What what happens if you do eat them? Well, the initial symptoms usually appear six some six to sixteen hours after ingestion. Usually, the symptoms are diarrhoea, vomiting, the symptoms that you'd normally associate with a food poisoning. And the 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 people that eat them often recover after that period and then a day or two later they get more severe sy symptoms, particularly jaundice associated with liver failure mm. and the symptoms then, de you know, the patient then deteriorates. And in this particular situation it sounds like four people actually ate them and uh, two, two have died. One, one is, uh, we, we're not sure of their condition at this stage, but another person has survived. What, why do some people survive and others not when they've eaten these mushrooms? It often depends on how much they've eaten them, you know, their body weight. Um, you know what the ratio is of the of the toxin to their body weight and how much impact it's mm. likely to have. Is there much awareness of the toxicity of these mushrooms in, in places in, in southeastern Australia? Yeah. Um, generally, I think people are aware that you need to be very careful when you're picking wild mushrooms. Mm. I, you know, I always stress that unless you're out there with a real expert, somebody who really knows their mushrooms and has had some experience in those particular areas, you're just better off um, buying them at the supermarket mm. where you know that there's been regulations and that like. They're, they're, uh, they will be safe. Yeah, because from the shots we've shown this morning, it's uh, like it, extremely hard to tell the difference between them and and, the, and regular mushrooms. And that's generally the case with most of the, mush the mushrooms that are poisonous in Australia. They have very close relatives that are quite safe to eat. And in this particular case, they have a very similar appearance mm. to the straw mushroom, which is used quite often in uh, in, in various cuisines. Uh, they only are around more frequently in or prevalently mm. in winter or summer, or is it all year round? Generally, we tend to think of mushrooms appearing in the in the autumn period. Um, that's the mu real mushroom season. Uh, I'm assuming that because of the, the milder weather and the, the higher than average rainfall that we're experiencing over the last 12 months, that that's um, brought on an unseasonal um, flourishing of, the, of these mushrooms. Okay, yeah, so the, the advice to people, just don't, don't pick them, de don't pick mushrooms definitely unless you're with a professional. Yes, I, I always stress, just don't pick them, it's not worth the risk. Uh, and you can get good mushrooms from the, the supermarket yeah. without these risks. Yeah.